of the misconceptions of using sheet sets is that you have to go through the whole rigmarole of having sheets and views and everything that's involved. Well, sheet sets actually have two ways of managing drawings. So when you have a, a, a set of existing drawings, you can use sheet sets to basically manage those drawings. There's no real sheets to it. So the sheet set manager basically becomes a way of just managing drawings. So at the top of the sheet set manager, I'm gonna create a new sheet set. In this case, what I wanna do is I wanna use existing drawings. So existing drawings is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna click next. And the name here is, let's just call this um, collection of existing. And the description will just be, you know, here are my drawings. So now what it's looking for is the location for the DST file. So the DST file being the project file, being the really the, the sheet set itself, the, the management tool. So let's just browse here and let's select a different location where in this case I'm actually going to store it in the same location that the drawings are in. Now I'm going to click on the sheet set properties and the reason I might want to do this is searching but also if I want to have some sheet set high level so some sheet set properties I want to use in my drawings. So I'd be able to set the project number and the project name um, if I had blocks to use, I could set them here. Here's my default sheet creation option. You know, do we want to have a particular template and should it prompt for a template? Now I'm actually going to leave this. We'll look at these more in depth when we look at um, creating sheet sets um, kind of from scratch. In this case, all I want to do is just use this to collect the drawing. So I'm just going to click OK to accept this. So I've got my name, the location, so I'm going to click Next. And now what it's looking for is it's asking me to select the drawings I want to import. Now if I look at my import options, should we prefix the sheet titles with the file name, which I'm going to do. And we could actually create subsets based on a folder structure. So if I had a directory that already had subdirectories in it, I could use those existing subdirectories to automatically create the separate folders or subsets within my sheet set. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to click browse. I'm going to go out and select the location where my existing files are. So we'll go to that same location where I saved where I saved the sheet set itself. So now what it's doing is it's going to analyze that folder and it's really going through there and it's finding all the drawings that are in there. I'm also going to pick a couple other directories of drawings. So as you can see it's going to bring in, in this case, this building model as well as these other drawings and their layouts. So I'll click Next. Here's the drawings that it's going to bring in. And really the key here is that there's actually other drawings in those folders but it's only going to bring in the ones that have paper space layouts. So the existing drawing method only brings in those layouts. And I can pick and choose which layouts I want, but if you have an initialized paper space and you're not using them for your drawings, then this method's not going to work for you. Click Next. There's my collection. I'll click Finish. And as we can see here, it's now populated that folder with the drawings. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to create a new subset. The new subset name, we're going to call this Gripper. We'll click OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these four sheets and I'm going to drag them and drop them and pull them into that Gripper. As you can see here I just missed with my multi-select but you can move multiple drawings at one time. So now those are within that folder. It just gives me that ability to kind of group them. So even though they may all be in one folder or two folders, you can use the Sheet Set Manager to really just slice and dice and break that up however you want. So now what I have is I have the ability to double click on a drawing. And you can see here that I've actually picked a location that these drawings are read only. That's why they're locked. But I can use this to quickly go out and open the drawings. I can quickly use this to publish a drawing. 
So I could actually right click on this and I could actually publish this from here. I could take the subset and I could e-transmit it from here. So it's a great tool to pull together a collection of related drawings without having to go through the whole rigmarole of setting up the sheet set and, and creating the sheets, especially when you have a collection of existing drawings. I mean, those drawings are done, they've got the information that you want, so that's why they have the existing drawing function.